What's up everybody? T3 here from Future Nature and T3 Photography. Thought I'd do a little something a little different with this video blog addendum slash update. And that is just to take a little wander through the woods where I live so you guys can get a better idea of how awesome coming here and taking classes is. You know, first and foremost, I want to give thanks to Matthew from, and all the folks from La Primatisse for coming last month and running an amazing class with me. It was life-changing for all of us, I think in many ways and yeah so let's talk you know i knew long before i started teaching that i was going to be that i was destined to be a nature educator And, you know, as I mentioned in the blog post, when my parents divorced and I kind of left, moved to suburbia, fell in with the wrong crowd, lost my connection to creation, to the nature net. And then that void showed up inside me and I tried to fill that void in any way I could. But that is so many decades ago now, 30 now. Holy crap, I'm getting old. Yeah, so, you know, when I set out to build Future Nature and T3 Photography, you know, I had a, a completely different business plan in mind um, that just, you know, in the end didn't end up working out. And I essentially had to start from scratch. And I'm sure those of you who might be watching this, who are outdoor educators, share this same sentiment. Uh, we aren't always the best in the world of business. Like I have learned so much about finance and business and pending charges and overdraft fees and uh, you know, all this stuff that I never had to think about because I've always had a job. I've never not, you know, as I said, I've been teaching for 24 years and You know, all of a sudden having your life flipped upside down after you already spent all your capital on, a, on, a, on, one, on one business model, having to, having to rebuild and refit the ship, um, you know, it's been a struggle. It has been a struggle. And things like my GoFundMe, which I'm bringing up because, you know, it's almost a year ago I started that and you know super close to finishing it out having that happen would literally save my butt this is a beautiful spot where we're hosting a wedding coming up my landlords this summer but yeah you know I've accomplished so much in the last two years. I have learned so much about business, about, uh, you, know, you know, I finally got over my fear of spreadsheets. I, uh, you know, it's so much that it's like my mind, I'm so mindful. And I don't mean mindful. I'm mindful, but my mind is full 
And, you know, there's still a lot I don't know. And I'm so thankful that through this process, I've met folks who are now some of my best friends. Um, you know, between the financial help from things like the GoFundMe and, the, you know, the classes that I run, um, not, not nearly as many as I would like to. Uh, you know, I've managed to, to skate by. You know, I, uh, you know, I currently have two apprentices that come out here anywhere from one to three days a month, um, sometimes overnight. I have several online apprentices that I meet with regularly. Uh, you know, I've got my, my webinar series, my all-in-one, which I'm so excited I got my computer back finally and got everything working after my, the, lot, the passing of my sweet dog, Cora, when I spilled my tea all over my computer. God, what a nightmare. And it's like, you know, I often wonder, you know, if you look at the way our world is set up, you know, it is just set up to drain us of everything from, it's, it's set to drain our energy. It's set to drain our money, to drain our uh, drive, uh, you know, most people, once they get to a point where they've got, you know, just, just enough to live on, they fall into a rut, you know, and they may work for the same place for 10, 20, 30 years, get a few raises. Pretty soon, next thing you know, you're retiring and you've developed no interests or hobbies and I'm trying to free the world of that and find a way where we can live and not have to rely so much on money or make products that last longer so you don't have to buy a new one every two years. That's one reason I'm really upset with Apple is when I got my new computer back when I had my initial seed money, um, I bought the extra Apple Care, the spills and drops protection, and I spilled tea on my computer. And I expected to walk into the Apple store and say, uh, I spilled tea on my computer, and then walk in the back and grab one and hand it to me. Just like they do at Best Buy. That's why I buy all my electronics at Best Buy, because of their total tech guarantee as an unofficial endorsement, by the way. But yeah, total tech guarantee, definitely worth it. So I had to go three to five days. It was like five, six days without a computer. And the irony of the fact that as an outdoor educator, I rely so much on computers and videos and things like that is sad. <laughs> but it's the way business is done these days. And... <clears throat> Due to that, I've had to, I had to postpone three, two, two online classes and one private online class. And I decided that, uh, you know, since I didn't have very many signups, I decided to push the dates, the start dates of the five part awareness class and the five part nature photography class. Um, bone tools. I did a bone tools part one the day, not the day my dog passed. She passed later in the, in the, eve, the next morning. But I told folks, I said, look, you know, I, I'm a mess right now. So we're actually going to do six sessions. So I've added the bone tools class back to the uh, back to the schedule, and you can join. And I can send you a Google link to the recording from the first session. 
I don't know. I guess the moral of the story, you know, I recently connected with John Young, who is, uh, as many of you know, is my considered to be my father's first student. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, as a kid, he was always around, of course. Uh, you know, I consider him to be a, kind of a cross between a brother and an uncle. Uh, a bronco. That's that, 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 John. <laughs> You're bronco John now. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till your next, the next, your next webinar series. I break that one out. But yeah, I've recently connected with him. Uh, we're going to be working on some stuff together. Uh, I recently connected with the folks from Cascadia Wild. They're doing a really awesome wolverine tracking project right here in the Mountain Hood National Forest because there have been some wolverine sightings and they're hoping, and I'm hoping, that they've returned. And so yeah, we're doing a tracking class with Cascadia Wild on July 27th. Um, <clears throat> also, you know, like I said, we just did a collaboration with La Primitifs. I am all about collaboration. Think back to my three columns video. You know, my business is built on three columns. Community, caretaking, and collaboration. And... Yum, must eat. Ow. Yeah, so I am trying to partner with as many like-minded organizations as possible in order to dun, 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 get people outside where the magic is. The magic isn't in an app on your phone. Or in your computer. The magic and the mystery and the wonder and the majesty is here in the wild places. And those of us that literally give 20, 30 pounds of flesh, everything we have to the vision of waking people up and turning them from takers into caretakers teaching them about the beautiful, wonderful, magical things that we share the earth with. And when you do that, and when you see somebody make that connection for the first time, and you see those eyes go from the kind of a dull pallor to sparkling again, you know, that's what I live for. You know, people always ask me, teaching, teaching must be tiring. I'm like, it is, but teaching is vacation for me because when I'm teaching, I forget about everything else. I forget about the fact that I'm broke. I forget about the fact that I've got so many bills, you know, that are past due, that my heart's been acting up and I need to find a way to go see a heart, or heart doctor, that I need to go to the dentist, you know? I forget about all that when I'm teaching. So that's why, you know, that's what I want to do. So I'm here in Sandy, Oregon. No matter where you are in the world, you can come here. I unfortunately do not have a passport at the moment. So if you are far away, I can't come to you, meaning out of this country. But I can come to you if you're in the States. Uh, I just, uh, I'm working on a new partner central collaboration with a woman in Idaho who I will uh, share some more news about in my next update as we're just working out the pre preliminaries there. But yeah, you know, it killed me to start a GoFundMe. That GoFundMe saved my life in a lot of ways, continues to, um, you know, 
and uh, you know between that my identity theft on Facebook not being able to give them money to advertise has affected my reach you know I guarantee you there's 10,000 people within a hundred square miles of me who would love to come teach and take a class on any of the skills I teach. I just can't seem to reach them. So that's why one of the things is I rely on you folks so much for is to spread my, my social media posts because there's this weird shadow ban thing gotten going on with my account so anyway thank you for listening to me ramble i hope you enjoyed a wonderful wander through our beautiful forest and hopefully one day you'll come here for a class all you have to do is call all right y'all until next time peace and love Love your family, love your friends, love your four legged because their lives are so much shorter than ours. And my dog, Cora, gave me 17 and a half of the best years of my life. So thank you, Cora. And thank you to all of you for watching. Peace and love.